the right way. Congratulations today. Um, nice 4 0 win, good start to the new year. Frustrating end to 2019, but let's forget that. Let's look at the future, look at today. Um, how pleased are you with your performance and how near to where you want us at United to be performing? What's today's performance? I'm um, delighted with the, with the performance, first and foremost. Um, that's what we expect, uh, week in, week out, that work ethic, that desire to win headers, to win tackles, um, to run harder than the opposition. Um, I, think, I think we did all of that today. Uh, I think the win's thoroughly deserved. Um, doesn't flatten us it is in any way. And um, it's great to see the reaction. Um, that, that wins that wins one for the supporters because they, they've had some you know they've had to watch some poor performances um, of late and I presume before we came to the football game. Um, that today is a lot lot closer to how I envisage my City United team play. Um, heart, desire, character and ability. Um, on all in all areas of the pitch but certainly in the final third and we've got some really good exciting players and we need to um, we need to see more of what we're seeing today, for sure. Okay, one problematic area that we've noticed is obviously in the defence. Um, Jake Mulvey normally is in the field, obviously playing at right back. And Lookhouse filling in at centre half outside Jimmy Cogger, where you've got two left footed centre halves. Yeah. Uh, but a clean sheet today, and then a match with Jimmy Cogger. How pleasing was that for you uh, this afternoon? I'm delighted. As much as, um, as much as we're happy with the, the amount of goals that we've scored, uh, to keep a clean sheet um, is, is huge. It can only do wonders for the confidence. Um, and again, you know, the lads that you're mentioning there, Jake and Dylan, are young lads, um, and they've, you know, they've been feeling it a little bit through this period. Um, you know, so to see them to have really good performances is, is really, it's really good to see. Um, Andy um, has got tons of experience, and, and he's done what you would expect, but he's had a really, really, really solid game. Um, as was Ross Hardacre. Um, and yeah, it, it is an area of concern, and it has been an area of concern, and it's an area that we still are looking to address. But when lads give you what they've given you today, and they give you those type of performances, um, you know, it, it, it starts to put a little bit of doubt in your mind as to whether you actually need to go out and bring players in. But listen, one one result doesn't uh, doesn't make a season. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of hard work ahead of us. Um, it's a great start to 2020. I couldn't have wished for a, um, a, a better result and a better performance. But it's so important now that we, um, that we knuckle down, that we remember what it feels like to win a game, so it's been a few games. Um, and uh, and we try and kick on and take that into Saturday and beyond. Uh, January's a big month for us. Um, we'll only truly know whether we've turned the corner in, you know, in the next couple of games. But um, for now, we'll worry about that later. For now, it's just about enjoying today. Um, Brilliant reaction from the support. I'm so pleased for them, so pleased for the players. Um, undoubtedly, it's been tough uh, for all of us. But um, it's just amazing how, how a, a positive performance and a positive result can change people's mindset. And that's what we're, that's what we're hoping happens now. That um, players understand that they actually are good footballers. We are a good side when we get it right. Um, and, and that we kick on and, uh, and continue to improve. Okay, finally looking ahead, um, it's no secret that Arsenal United are working with a small squad at the minute. Have you looked in at any potential signings or uh, players that could potentially come in and uh, do a job for Arsenal United? Yep, um, in fairness, I've been working tirelessly for the last two or three weeks to try and add to the squad. Now, there's many reasons why that's not quite worked out how we hoped. Um, some financial issues in there, some um, injuries and suspensions, meaning you know we, we couldn't really move one or two people out to bring two or three people in. Um, but we seem to have a little bit of light at the end of the sort of um, there should be without preempting anything. I'm hoping that we'll have a, um, a player in by. By Saturday, or available for Saturday. Players are just walking in, by the way. <laughs> um, we're obviously looking to bring in a, um, a centre half. We're hopeful that might happen in the next week. Um, a seven day approach has gone in. Um, we're talking to um, a couple of people regarding other players as well. So we are hopeful that in the next week to ten days, there might be three or four new places. And it may mean that one or two people have to move on to make, way for, to, to make room for those three or four people. Well, that's football. You know, it won't be personal, it won't be because we don't want people as good players. 
um, we've just got a, a lot of factors to consider. But we, um, we're starting to make progress. And the other, and the other positive thing is we're starting to clear that injury list and we're starting to clear that uh, you know, we've got players back from suspension. Um, so it's now it, making it more achievable to, to be able to shuffle things around a little bit.